Welcome back, everybody. Hey, no grass mowing today because we're on a mission to replace this hub on my single axle trailer. If you have a single axle trailer, eventually this is going to happen to you. So stick around. We'll try to make this nice and quick and to the point to where you know what to do, how to do it, and um, you won't take the chance of risking that tire coming off with your mowers on the back of it and losing thousands and thousands if not tens of thousands of dollars of equipment so we'll get right into it all right let's go ahead and get this jack stand mounted underneath this axle so we can have our safety in check all right so look i'll show you when the bearing goes bad That up and down movement, it, the bearings are done, okay? So we're gonna pull this off real quick, go to the uh, dealer in town, and come back here and put a new one on. Get some footage. And when you take this cap off, you'll have a lock nut and a carter key. Okay, so after we get this dust cap off, underneath here, you'll find the lock nut with the carter key. You take that off, and then this will slide right off. Uh, just so you know you can go ahead and destroy this little dust cap because you get a brand new one in the kit that you buy at the store this one is the quarter pin uh -huh. so you hit the pliers the needle nose pliers uh -huh. and you bend these back uh -huh. straight and pull it out pull it out So here's a little tip for the rookies, pop it out like that, and then after you get this nut off the axle itself, pretty simple, it's just a couple tugs and it should come right off. Usually it's the back bearing that goes bad, not the front one. Alright, so that was literally short simple and sweet hey looks like i made the right decision yesterday by not trying to haul all my big mowers on this trailer all the way across town i'd much rather lose a day's revenue get stuff right than uh make silly mistakes out here and lose all my mowers and then have to deal with that issue so we're gonna go buy a new part real quick and uh put it on for you guys and you'll know how to do this stuff perfect and easy okay so here we have the uh, replacement part for the single axle 3,500 pound trailer. And uh, this is the hub. It cost $105 at the local dealer. Thank God they had it in stock. Let's put it on. When you have to beat this race off the axle, make sure you do it side to side at a even distribution as you wobble back and forth. If not, you'll seize it up and you'll be cussing pretty quick. Can you not use your little claw thing now? No. You gotta make sure that race comes off. It won't work otherwise. So, the whole replacement kit is here. Alright, it comes with everything you need. So after you inspect the axle, make sure you didn't tear into it too bad. Just slide that new hub on there. And you'll want to get a socket that fits over top of that axle itself and seats on the race of the bearing. And if you tap it lightly without damaging it, your objective is to get this new hub snug up against that back wall where it's supposed to seat. Because the carter pin hole has to be accessible for you to get that carter pin in which means you're gonna have to turn this once you beat it down back you'll have enough threads to start that main nut and once the threads are started you just gotta push it through till it's seated then you back it off most important step to this whole thing back it off so it moves freely just like that 
All right, go back, look real quick. I backed it off so it moved freely. The most important key to this whole installation process. If you tighten that nut down too tight and that tire does not turn, you're gonna be taking the tire back off. All right, the dust cap here, it's a very sensitive piece of metal. Just make sure you line it up perfect and then just lightly tap, 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 tap it in. All right. And make sure you grease these bearings at least once a year. All right. Nothing overboard. Don't want to overpack them, but once a year is good. They'll last four, five, maybe six years. As you can tell, you guys weren't the only ones getting a quick lesson. I was teaching Dalton, my youngest son, how to get things done out here in the field and get back to making money and doing this work. Using these mowers for what they're made for. Getting stuff done. Alright, so if you have this issue down the line, maybe today. Hey, I hope this video helps you out, get you back on the road to uh, mowing that grass and making that money. As I always say, be good if you can. Always be kind and love each other. Elite Landscape Style. Peace.